Okay, let's enjoy this view. Check it out. We have the Tempest 6 liter short block fully assembled and we're just about to put the heads, valve train, and then really just made it up to the transmission and throw it in the car. So uh, what we did was we took, we took it all apart as you guys saw, um, brought this block over to West Coast Engine in Oxnard to have them do the machine work. Um, my guys Joe and Sal always do such a great job and they got it done super quickly and they basically mic'd up every single piston and every bore and we went for around five thousandths um, piston to wall clearance. So as you can see, we replaced number two. So that is a brand new CP Carrillo uh, bullet series 4005 piston and a new ring set. And then we reuse the pistons for, um, I guess one all the way through eight after that, apart from two, um, because we got a professional engine builder's blessing. He said, all the other ones are fine. You can reuse them. And I'm just going to say this man is a living legend. So I trust his opinion above like internet comments. <laughs> so that's why we decided to reuse them. Plus, it was pretty cost effective. I think all in all, to rebuild this thing, I have about $500 worth of new bearings and gaskets. So it wasn't too bad. The machine work? Yeah, and the machine work. It could have been a lot worse, but yes, yeah, so we got new main bearings, new rod bearings. I mean, the old ones looked perfectly fine, but we we're like, we'll just replace them. So. This is where we're at, and now we're just about to throw on my AFR Enforcer Series cylinder heads. They're so pretty. The only bummer is, like, every time I look at them now, I see the RTV, and I go, oh, we have to do that again. <laughs> they sealed so nice, so. How come you didn't clean off the top of the pistons? I don't know. We just wanted to get it done and wanted to get it in the car. Hmm. Is that reason enough? Is that good enough? Yeah, I mean, there might be some people asking, that's all. Oh, well, you know, I don't really care what people ask anymore because I'm just having fun building my engine. I learned something from this experience and now it's gonna go back in my car and I'm gonna go cruise everywhere. So, you know. Don't worry about it. Leave your little comments, it's fine. I'm just gonna be driving my car, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No, I'm, I'm happy with it. So I got the same Chevy Performance head gaskets that we had last time, and they're actually in the Summit box. So let me grab those. And best part of all, see these bad boys right here? No yeah. more Felpros. Yeah, no more Felpros because uh, actually it was a uh, one of you guys recommended that I get the GM version, and you said that they hold up well. So we're gonna test them out, but I have heard good things about those. Yeah. Um, we're using them. Okay. All right, this head is done. And on this side. A little bit of this way, excuse us Chevelle, don't you worry, you'll be getting your engine very soon. You're next. You're next, buddy. Oh, it's going to be a tight squeeze. Got Can we do it? Side. Oh, you need to move more to the Chevelle. There you go, hang on. Oh! Ramps. Those are heavy. Oh. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Yay! Here we are. Here we are. Again. We just did this not even a month ago. This thing better act right. This is the last time we're putting this motor in this car. I know. If, it, if this doesn't work this time, this platform is done. We're going well. Going something the, else. I'm going with the aluminum block. I'm good. Something else is like it just doesn't want to be in at that point. I know. <clears throat> Take this thing. Okay, 
so what are we doing? Should we move it over there? Yeah, we got the transmission over there, and then we're going to mate it up to it, and then do a little magic and turn the key. <laughs> Okay, I see it pulling on that. All right, just wondering if you're getting tired of pumping that thing yet. Okay, this is the moment. The engine and trans are going back into the Pontiac for the final time. We got everything still kind of connected, so it shouldn't be too hard to um, plug everything up once it's in there. So let's see if she goes in the way she came out, like butter. Just like that, it is back in the car. Just a little magic. Oh yeah. So I think that's all the progress we're gonna make for tonight. Um, really, this was the hard part, so it's in its place. Um, we're just waiting on one of, uh, well, two V-bands that I ordered, and then we can basically put on the headers, do the exhaust. Um, we're gonna reroute or sorry, redo the, tr the trans cooler lines because I bought better hose for that. And then other than that, it's just do the front accessories, the balancer, plug in the harness, oil, and check trans fluid. And I think that's it, I think. Fired up! Yep. It's actually going to be just as nerve-wracking for me to fire this thing up because it's basically a fresh build. So it's as if it, well, it is, it's first time firing up, brand new, everything, so. I don't know, I saw you put used, used pistons in there. Okay, used pistons. I heard, I heard you put used pistons in the Yeah, sandwich. you know what, I did, I did. And that's fine because I saved a chunk of change. The entire rebuild only cost me $500. I wouldn't hear the comments. Yeah, I know people have an opinion, but you know what? If Kenny Duttweiler says it's cool, then it's cool. So I'm going to go with his opinion, right? Really with that. <laughs> Didn't he build the fastest piston engine vehicle on earth? He has the record for the fastest piston engine in the world. So if that man says the used pistons look good and reuse them. Yeah, we're hear <laughs> nothing in the comments. <laughs> okay, we are back working on this big old boat again. And I think by the end of this video, or sorry, I think by the end of today, we're going to have this thing running and driving. So we're just going to go over a few things and just show you some things that we're going to change on the car. Um, some things didn't get done correctly the first time because we were kind of in a hurry to go on a road trip. So we're fixing them this time around. Um, over here, we upgraded to V-bands on the header collector. I welded these on the other day. And we're going to have V-bands here. And these are reducer reducer v-bands that go from three inch to two and a half inch so pretty cool it's going to take a lot of the work out for us and then also what i'm going to do is install these um vibration dampeners right onto the v-band just like that and weld it up and um what we're going to do is we're going to make this exhaust system kind of like removable so that way later on when we want to install like a more high performance exhaust we'll be able to just unbolt it with a v-band clamps i'm going to put a v-band back here and install like a better flowing muffler so olivia wants her car to be quiet so <laughs> this is the exhaust system for the street and then if she wants to like take it up a notch we can just swap in the other exhaust system by just removing these v-bands yeah basically so. i didn't have enough time to do research and find mufflers that i wanted to run so we're running the same exhaust setup just 
a little more refined and improved mm -hmm. and no leaks. Yeah, there was some exhaust leaks. If you come back here, look at these, uh, come on this side. Oh yeah, hang on. Right here. Even with these dumb clamps, there's still <laughs> there's still uh, some exhaust leak going on there. So we're gonna eliminate all of that. That's really annoying to have exhaust leaks. Yeah. Um, another thing too, we're gonna put on the, the second exhaust system, we're gonna put a X pipe or a H pipe in line. So I think that's gonna help out with performance. These mufflers, although they're pretty quiet and they give her the sound that she's looking for, they're just, they don't flow very well. No. But they keep it quiet. Yeah. Um, another thing that we're gonna upgrade is the thermostat. It's not really an upgrade, we're just changing the thermostat to a different temperature, a more desired temperature for us. Yeah. We won't tell you the specs on that, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> As long as it keeps us happy. Yeah. Um, what else are we upgrading? The most major thing, which isn't really an upgrade, but um, I can't remember if I mentioned earlier in the video or not, but I actually got my 4L80 uh, warrantied. So the remanufacturer is Power Torque, but I have to give a huge thank you to O'Reilly because if it wasn't for them, I don't know if I even would have got to warranty it. The guys over there um, really made that happen. So I have a new 4L80 in the car with my freshly rebuilt 6O. And I'm just excited because we're going to see if, in fact, the 4L80 is just noisy in first and second or if we just happen to have one of their um, rebuilt transmissions that was noisy. Mm -hmm. So... Anyway, we might have a better sounding transmission. Much smoother ride. Yeah, so in a way it was kind of worth doing the rebuild on the engine because I also got to change out that. Yeah, and so. another thing too, we put 45 degree fittings on the transmission cooler lines mm -hmm. versus 90. They gave us a little bit more clearance, so that's nice. We're also gonna add this uh, inline fuel filter. <clears throat> it's like 100 micron or I'm not too sure. Yeah, 100. But that's gonna keep the injectors a little cleaner. When we had the injectors tested, one of them was reading less than the other one so there might have been some trash in there but we got them all cleaned up they're flowing all the same and now we're going to put this inline filter in there just for extra measures yeah so so i'm excited to get this car back on the road me too it's just you know a lot of good stuff happening and a lot of preventative measures as well like i don't really see what could go wrong we just got to get the tune right really yeah Long, I mean, it's not. It's. Uh, I think we're gonna have this thing dialed this time. Yeah. So we're gonna get to work here, and yeah. uh, we'll catch up with you guys in a second. hot today it's humid let's see yes way better than mine like way better look at these they're old yeah i really enjoyed welding the exhaust last time but it's just like goes to show you like you just got to do it properly otherwise it's just gonna leak so well it wasn't your welds that leaked it was the clamps that we used to hold the rest of it together oh so it's not it wasn't your welds your welds were good oh okay heck yeah it's just that we used those clamps we knew we were gonna do this we just didn't yeah. have the clamps at the time yeah we so. kind of had to get it together just to do the trip yeah it sucks to have to redo stuff like that just because you're rushing? Are we rushing right now? Yeah. No, nah, no more rushing. Maybe we should rush to the beach is what we should do. It's I hot. know. It's way hot. Like, whew. Like sticky out here. Yeah, we should be at the beach today, but we're getting this done for y'all. Yeah, so hopefully you appreciate so, the video. Yeah, don't forget to sub subscribe. <laughs> so we got. V-band clamp here, flex tubing, 
um, and then another V-band back here. So that way we can remove the exhaust system and she can install her race mufflers yep. <laughs> later on if she wants. But this will get her through all the drive throughs in Camarillo without pissing anybody off. And we also installed the Summit Racing filter here. And now we're gonna lower the car down to the ground and continue putting on the accessory drive here with the new upgraded thermostat mm -hmm. to the temperature we can't tell you about. Top secret. Well, at one point or another, all of these were in a pot on the stove top being cooked up. We were testing them and there was two other ones. We had like a lot more cooking, but ultimately, this was the winner. This is the winner right here. So. That's the one that's going in. Yeah. Also, if you didn't know, something that I just learned doing this is that the LS3 thermostat is like a different depth than the other ones. So, if you're running this Holly accessory, LS3 style. This baby is ready to fire up. We got just about everything hooked up. Um, we added some Dex Cool. Um, oil's already in. We're just gonna be topping this off as it's running. Are you ready? You're the one that's gonna hit the key. Are you ready? <sighs> no, <laughs> I never am. This literally feels like the first fire up because it kind of is. Yeah. It kind is. of is. It's a fresh rebuild, so. Oh, this thing better run, and it better run for a hundred thousand miles with no problem. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, it's going off the cliff. <laughs> it's going by the rock there. Yeah. How you feeling? I'm feeling so nervous. It's not even funny, but we have to do it. Feel because... It feels like we were just here. I know. It's like the same thing, just maybe like a few weeks ago. Get in there. You gonna be okay? No. Wait, are we gonna... F <laughs> no. <laughs> are we gonna fire it up, like, now? We're, uh, it's I time. We okay, we're going over everything right now. What else? We got the fans hooked up. We got... Fans are hooked up. There's a Dexical in the system. You got six quarts of oil. You got power steering fluid back in it. Got transmission fluid, we put three quarts in there. We'll add some more if needed. And all the injectors are plugged in. Yes. We triple check those. The plug wires are all going to the correct spot. Um, we don't have any fuel leaks. We cycled the key already. Yeah, I don't smell fuel. So give me a reason. To just not start it right now because <laughs> I'm too scared. <laughs> we gotta do it. Okay. Turn the key on. Are you ready? Go for it. The RPM's up a little bit. There you go. Sounds pretty good. Oil pressure is 45. That's good. Air fuel ratio is 14.7. Does this show the timing? Probably in the other screen, but it's alright. Not not as important right now. Valve train. The valve train's making a little bit of a noise, it seems like. It looks like we're getting oil. Turn it off. Turn the car off. Yeah, 
Yeah, it seems like the valve train's a little noisy. Yeah, and I don't know if you're hearing it from there, but I'm really hearing it here. I hear it on this side too. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we should make sure that we are getting oil to the top end. It looks like, it's hard to tell from here, but looks like we are. I mean, we have good oil pressure. Yeah, there is good oil pressure. Sure you put oil in it? Yeah. Let's see what we're going on here. Okay, we got the same valve train on there, the same exact head gasket thickness, same, everything's the same, right? They yeah. They deck the block. So, let's see what we got going on. Did you tighten down the valve train? Yeah, everything was torqued and you even double checked it. I saw you do it, so. Can't put this blame on me, Ricky. <laughs> We got oil up here. Um, I mean, we could run it and just verify that oil is coming out of all of those push rods. Yeah, you know what? Want to do that? I'll put a little piece of cardboard right here so oil doesn't get on the headers and start smoking. Mm -hmm. But we can do that. That's not a problem. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, we got a piece of cardboard here to keep everything from splashing. Let's get the flashlight. Um, fire in the hole. Yep. Yeah. Rev it up a little bit. Rev it up a little. Okay, there we go. Now we got oil here. But not this one yet. Rev it up just a little bit more. Okay, there we go. So I think the lifters are just taking a little while to get primed up again. Oh. So this first one here, there was no oil coming out till the very end. So and now there there is. Now there is? Yeah. There is? yeah. Okay. So that, that's probably what we're hearing is the Maybe the um, the lifters, the hydraulic lifters, are taking all the clearance out. Okay. So you think just... Uh, I think we're fine. I'm looking at my phone case just filled with oil. Is it? Oh, look, look at, turn it around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, that is much better. It just took a little while to get oil pressure up to the top of the engine. Much quieter now. Listen to that. I'm so happy. Sounds way better than before without the exhaust leaks. Oh I know, way better. Damn baby, we did it. <laughs> I think we're gonna call it a night. We've been working all day on this thing and we will see you guys in the morning for its first test drive. Wow, this car looks so much better with a hood on it. I know. So we just finished all the checks on the car. We obviously got the hood back on it so it's looking good and I thought for its second maiden voyage we would take it out to PCH. So we're gonna cruise the Tempest out there to Magoo Rock and all of our favorite beach spots that you guys always see us hanging out at. I just think it's really important to me that this car makes it there and back 
because that's really what I built the car to do. Um, in spending all my time with Danny and driving around his cars, you know, all of them have their purpose, but all of them have confidently and capably made it out to the beach and have taken us on some amazing beach days. And so I wanted the Tempest to do the same. So that's what we are doing today. But before we go, I thought for memory's sake, <laughs> I Isn't that where we broke down? This is where we broke down, was Convict Lake. I actually bought a sticker before I found out that we broke down. So I just thought, you know, for a little memory, I'm gonna stick this on the car. Because it technically, it made it there. It made this it there. This is true. So it didn't actually leave us totally stranded. So it's gonna go right here. That. It's got a rainbow trout. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna get ready for the beach and then this thing is back on the road. hear how good this sound system really is though this thing kicks butt it does. Right? We made it to we the made beach. It. We're here. Heck yeah. Oh. Need to grease up that door. I... How do I look here? In front of the rock. Like... Yeah, it's a Pontiac. It's our first time driving it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's pretty rad. Thank you. <laughs> Heck yeah, we made it. Yes. We freaking did it, all that work. <laughs> the rebuild. Ooh, oh yeah. Yeah? <laughs> oh, now that's a cliff. Yeah, you don't want to trip. If that car doesn't start acting up, we're going to throw it. We're going to drive it over this cliff. Basically. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I know. No. Not these days, but I just figure it's worth it for that. <laughs> okay, this is very sentimental to me to come out here with this car. 
we pulled up and we immediately were like bombarded with people saying, oh, it's so sweet, it's so sweet. And like, we were even talking to that guy in the truck about fishing. It's just like, this is what I love about classic cars. It just gets the conversation going and you get to meet really cool people. Yeah. We just found a really good fishing spot thanks to that guy yeah, too. Yeah, right? So I think we're gonna cruise to the next spot. I don't even know where we're going. We just want to drive it. So. Let's go. A little chilly, Willy. Okay, we just traded. Danny yep. is behind the wheel of Big Wave, and uh, we're gonna see where else we can take it right now. Oh, oh I just sent it throttle. It's a halibut. Let's see. Let's see. Here's your a shark. Uh, Maybe it's a shark. Here are your sandals. Okay, let's go see what he caught. We're the fish patrol. He's bent. What, what is it? A bat ray? Got something big. Oh, there it is. Back. Excuse me, ma'am, your, your tags are expired. <laughs> I'm gonna have to arrest you. When was the last one on there? This car was last driven in 1987. Yeah, I do have my um, tags and plates in the car, so don't worry, YouTube police. Can you get me pulled over? I know. It's all right, better you than me. <laughs> Deer Creek. We want to go 
up there because I want to see what this tempest will do up a very steep hill. That's kind of a big test. Oh, that's why you wanted me to drive, huh? Well, I mean, you're the one who drove up the hill at Mammoth, so this is like your redemption. I broke this car last time I drove up a hill, you know. I know. Uh, okay, maybe pull over, I'll drive. Serious? No. <laughs> you can drive, I don't mind. It's so nice up here. I wonder if we're gonna see any deer. I hope so. It's deer season. The binoculars. It is deer season, but it's a little hot right now. I gotta wait till the sun goes down, and then they'll come out. Hey, we're gonna walk down this way so I could show you guys where I want to build a house someday. Just gotta go over here, like this. So, this could be the driveway right here. Nice paved, bunch of palm trees. Really uh, tropical. 
you know, lots of rocks. And then uh, right here where the house goes. Small little house with a big garage. Who, if anyone, like, owns this? I don't know. Oh my gosh, look at it. You know what we should do is come camping up here sometime. Yeah, I mean, people do it all the time. Oh, there's somebody over there. They're, uh, they don't think they have any clothes on. Oh. <laughs> She's oh. catching a tan over there. I don't want to get too close, but okay. but anyways, yeah, what a view, except for the naked dude over there catching some sun. Close my eyes. There's my pony in. Okay, well, I just got to say I'm very proud of you for thank sticking you. through this whole project and finishing it. And I have to say thank you for sticking by me throughout this whole project, because this is probably... The biggest pain in your ass of any car you've ever built all of that aside i am so happy with the car and i know it's not over yet there's still like a bunch of tuning we're gonna have to do to it but i'm just thrilled that i get to take it to the beach now i get to run around town do my errands in the car and i just have myself a sweet hot rod so i'm i'm thrilled and um i appreciate you guys following the journey i know this was like a year and a half long project it took forever but i appreciate all of those who stuck around throughout the whole build and we're not done here we got lots of content coming with this car got a road trip planned probably have to do a redemption road trip at some point don't know when but we will and just all around good times here at gnarly speed shop and uh, we're just going to enjoy the summer with a big wave. Yep. Now I can finally start working on the Chevelle again. Yes. So stick around to the channel for more Chevelle content. We haven't forgotten about that build. We just wanted to get this one done first. Oh, it was a pain in the butt. It was. But big wave is finally acting right. Yes. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and following the build. We will see you guys next time. Hope these brakes hold up. Oh boy, don't say that. Oh, it's starting to. Uh oh, it's starting to go to the floor. Can you? It's starting to go to the floor. Ah! <laughs> Can you not? We're not even wearing our seat belts because we're like just in case. Made it back in one piece. <laughs>